the 36 volt system that I ended up having to install in my 2008 Triton bass boat because I installed a new Ultrax trolling motor on it. It was a 112 volt 36, 112 pound thrust 36 volt, pardon me, trolling motor. I had a motor guide on here with a 24 volt system. Now the two batteries you see over in the corner, those two batteries, those two batteries were the same batteries that were in the boat that ran at 24 volt. Now what I did was added from the positive cable there, you can see it, it's a four gauge wire that I bought off eBay and it worked great. I bought a five foot wire, it's a four gauge wire and I ran it all back in here behind this, behind the fuel lines and all that. You can see it coming up and over here where it connects to the ground. And this is another Walmart Everstart Max 29 battery. I had to install a new battery tray and a new battery strap. Got them from TNH Marine. And there it is there with the third battery added with the four gauge jumper wire that I used to come across from the positive side over here to the negative side. And now you can see the positive side goes around here to the circuit breaker, which is already in the boat. That hot wire coming off the circuit breaker right there, that wire used to be going over to that hot wire on the trolling motor for 24 volt. So it went to that battery for the 24 volt system. Now those are both Walmart Everstart Max 29 series deep cycle batteries from Walmart. They were 89 bucks a piece. But then in the meantime, in order to do that, I had to move this oil tank. It used to run across it, uh, this metal piece. And I moved it that way there and then drilled some holes and re-anchored it over there. So that works out real good. And I installed a four bank Minn Kota PK440 PC battery charger. Uh, I needed a four bank instead of a three because I wanted to charge all four of my batteries. And you can see here, this is my cranking battery. It's, a, it's an Optima Blue Top 31. Does real good running all my all my electronics, my sonars and side and down scans and GPS's and cranking my battery and does a whole deal. I'm running a Mercury 250 Pro XS motor on it. Does real, real good, real good job. But that right there is a Minn Kota battery charger. And uh, it seems to do a really good job so far. I've had it about two weeks. Seems to just do a really, really good job. I like that you can control you can get down on here and see where you can zoom it. You can see on there where you can set up different batteries so that you can do whatever battery you want to charge. So it works pretty good. So yeah, there's the uh, old 24 volt, which used to be those two batteries over there. And now I added a third battery over here. Third battery back in there. And, a, and ran a five foot four gauge wire and that's all I had to do. So the, it kind of takes away from the myth where everybody says, oh, you have to run wires from the trolling motor all the way back. You gotta run three wires. Well, on this particular system, you don't have to do that. Uh, maybe on some of the older systems where they had four wires running, you might have to do something like that if you want to stay with the old system. But this one is be, this, mo this Ultrax trolling motor is 112 pound thrust, 36 volt, 52 inch shaft, what it's got on it. So anyway, I had to do this, and this is what it all looks like, and this is what it had to do. I like to keep everything nice and organized and neat, clean, and there you go. And there your, there's my circuit breakers that run everything. Everything seems to be doing a real good job. All righty. Thanks for watching, and if you if this helped you in any way uh, convert a 24 to a 36 volt, then I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe and like this channel. Thank you very much.